Here is another question to understand how to add and subtract integers. And here we have slight variation. The variation is that the first term is negative in all four. Otherwise, it is similar to the previous question. Okay, let's read the question. Write as an addition expression and then add integers. So we have four expressions here. Minus 2, minus plus 7, minus 3, minus, minus 5, minus 1, take away, plus 9, minus 4, take away, minus 3. As you can see, B and D are similar and A and C are similar. I will solve A and B for you and then C and D is for you to practice. You can pause the video, copy these questions and solve them on your own as you know the method, right? So our first step is to write these expressions as addition and then we will use counters this time to add integers. Let's start with A which is minus 2 minus of plus 7. So if I want to write this minus as positive, I need to reverse the sign. So I get minus 2, I write this as positive and reverse sign for 7. So I get minus 7. Let me do the same thing for part B also. I should get minus 3 plus of plus 5. Now I'm going to use counters to add these integers. Minus 2 means two negative counters, right? Two negative counters. And minus 7 means seven negative counters. So these are my second seven negative counters. 4, 5, 6, and 1, 7. In all, how many counters do I have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 7 plus 2. 9, but negative counters. So it's minus 9. Now in this case, I have three negative counters. 1, 2, and 3. Plus 5 positive counters. So let me write them here. 1, 2, 3, 4, and 1, 5. As you can see, we can now form sets of negative and positive, which become 0, right? So these are my zeros. These are my zeros, correct? What am I left with? Two positive counters. And therefore, minus 3 minus of minus 5 is positive 2. So that is how we can add and subtract integers by first writing the whole expression as an addition expression and then using counters. I'd like you to follow the same technique and solve part C and D. Thank you and all the best.